Hello and welcome to another adventure on this planet Earth. I'm Mark Gilchrist and this week we're going to meet a broom maker who will quietly and modestly sweep you off your feet. When I was in Dinh Binh in the far northwestern part of Vietnam, I met a gentleman who lived near my hotel who made brooms. I enjoyed watching him so much, I took some videos. It took him about an hour to make each one. It was quite a process. First he bundled the straw up and then he started sewing it, if you will, uh, giving it just the proper form. It was meticulous work as he threaded the string in and out of the, the rush. Kind of made a fan on the end of that broom. Beautiful work, uh, all by hand, using just a hammer and pliers and a, and a piece of wire. So he spread out that end and then wove the handle together with the string, keeping it tight all the time, winding that string as tight as he could. Then at the end of, of the broom, he capped it with a metal collar, a ring. And then forced everything in there really tight with a bamboo stick. You know, if an American was building these, <laughs> you can imagine. First of all, we'd have an awesome workbench with vices and, and clamps and uh, all kinds of machines. There'd have to be power tools involved. But no, the man builds these in his driveway and uh, on the floor, just one after another, one after another. and. Uh, he does it non-stop. It's uh, six at night. He's still making them. His daughter said they sell those brooms for 35,000 Vietnamese dong. Uh, it's about a dollar fifty U.S. Makes a dollar fifty an hour. I'm pretty sure he was retired. I didn't even get his name, but he lived in that beautiful house with his children and his grandchildren. Here's some made with wire. I think it's more durable. And here's a broom with a softer bristle. That's probably for inside, cleaning the kitchen and such. That's beautiful with that braiding. And here's the most modern style where they just take the, the bristles and they kind of cram them all into this form plastic handle wrap. He really didn't say a word the whole time. I was kind of working with his daughters and and at the end, he showed me the, the broom and then I think he tried to give me one. He wanted to give me one of his brooms. I mean, this after he had just given me the beautiful gift of showing me how all this is done. Then he wanted to give me a broom. These people. These beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed this week's adventure. I'm Mark Gilchrist, and I am, and you are, we all are, on this planet Earth. 